AI there. Today in this session, I am going to talk about the setting up the development environment for Java on Windows. Basically, to work with Java, you need one ID and one Java DIC. I'll be using ID Eclipse. You can use Eclipse, you can use Visual Studio Code, you can use Intellet, or you can even use Notepad. But to write your Java programs, I will suggest you to go for Eclipse. First of all, it's available free of cost, but intelligent other it needs to be paid. Visual Studio Code is also free of cost available, but it will not give you the templates and the libraries installation you need to go with in hand command. Rest is up to your choice, which ID you would like to use. There are many IDs available, as I told you, Eclipse is basically standardized for Java. To set up the Eclipse ID, what you need to do is you need to go to the Eclipse official website, download, and install the Eclipse ID. You need to configure the Eclipse plugin to start under any specific JIC version that you are going to use, and set up the development environment. All the steps are already given here, but let me tell you three things here. So this is the official Eclipse port where you can download your very latest Eclipse I version here. If you're using Windows, then you can click on this download to set and install it. But if you're using any other operating system, you need to go to the download packages. You can just look it up as per yours and install the X or the package and install it. I would like to give you one suggestion. When you just go for this particular option, it will give you the option to install the Java for web development as well as standard edition. But if you will go for download packages, you need to take care of it. If you will go for Java web development, you can also create the code Java projects here. But in the case of Java developers, only the web development packages and the templates wouldn't be available. So I will suggest you to go for Java and web developers, that is, for enterprise edition development. That if in case you would like to develop the web applications later. But before that, I will tell you that you should install DIC which version you wanted to opt out. If you will install Eclipse first, you need to configure the DIC for Eclipse. If you will install DIC first, when you will be installing the Eclipse, DIC will automatically get detected in the installation procedure. So for installing the DIC, which version you wanted to opt out is completely your choice. As mentioned, DICA is the latest release of the standard edition, but DICA is the latest for its latest long-term support. I should suggest you to go for DICA, but not because the features can be any time downgraded in the case of DICA. If in case you wanted to get some support, just go for this official website, which I am managing coding Beamcon. You can go to the blog section in the Java blog section. And here you can see that I have given the step-by-step -step procedure to install Intellet, Eclipse, and DIC. So you can just look it up and just go with the step-by-step -step procedure that might help you. In case you install Eclipse first and DIC later, then it is also giving you the steps to configure the DIC after installing the Eclipse into your machine. Choice is completely yours. You can also go to the command prompt and verify Java version which version you are using. I'm already having DIC installed in my machine, so I am having Java. But that's completely okay for the training and development purpose. But I'll suggest you, if you are going for your project development, go for this table long-term support, that is, JK as of now. I hope the concept is pretty clear to all of you and we are all set to use Java as a programming language. And by writing our first Hello Word program, we will be more comfortable using this as a programming language. See you in the next session. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.